Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We are following this little Sherpa as it comes to land in Moscow. There is Tokyo in the background, looks like a Hercules is also lining up for its approach there. I'm just wondering if I'll get to land. Probably no, because this Hercules has entered the runway. Good man. So, round and round he goes. I'm super looking forward to getting the second runway. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't just get the second runway right to start. Because uh, we've got a lot of planes and we're about to get more planes. So, let's continue on. We'll leave that little Cessna there. Hopefully this Hercules with its 20 odd, 24 fuel can get landed. And it looks okay. Nice view there. Oh no, it's going to wave off as well because this is on here. Yep, desperately need that uh, landing runway. So that's going to be an issue till we get it, whenever it may be. This thing is always running full. In fact, you could have probably another one of these on here from somewhere. Our STP coal train is starting to get more full. And we're starting to get plastic being built up over here 132 that is a decent amount so in the last episode we built a Tokyo airport Osaka airport out the island here uh, we did a flight going into Omsk or did we Seoul Omsk no that's just a little small small sucker Omsk Baghdad don't know what plane is actually on here. Are you the plane that's supposed to be on? Tokyo Shanghai Air Passenger. <coughs> I think it's 737s that roll on here. So 5 is actually okay. Uh, where's the bus stop here? No one waiting. Omsk Commuter 9. That's okay. So they're running almost full. Our Budapest South, that's looking okay. How is our Shinkansen doing? There it is there. 95, it's actually in profit now, which is sweet. This has only got 17 though, that's okay. Uh, there is, well, there's not really that much people waiting to go back. We've got a flight into Budapest as well, Ho Chi Minh, Budapest. 16 there, 16 waiting here, so that's fine, unless a bus or tram, yep, it is a tram, gets there, 8, 9, ah, uh, there's a few, so we'll get a couple of more flights on the go, there's no flight to Baku, as of yet, there will be, uh, we should probably get the road for Baku actually made up. Let's just pop it where? Let's just pop it off of here for the moment. And let's pop that one around to there. Right, so. Things can grow there if need be. Baku doesn't have anything at the moment. There is a goods factory here. So if we get a lot of plastic here, I'll ship plastic down there. We should also be able to ship excess steel from over here as well and maybe some oil. Oil, oil. But no oil. Yep, there's an oil refinery over there. Bring that up to make more plastic. Plastic down here. We're good to go. Kyoto needs comats. Stone, comats, comats down here, comats up there. All good for that. Baku needs machines, though. Machines are going to be difficult. Now, Melbourne doesn't have a large airport. Let's give it one. Cargo airport now. Let's make it passengers. Let's make it easy on ourselves. Now, there is this stupid... That's in the way. Could have it over here. Wow, there is actually nowhere to fit this. 
and yeah, it could fit it there. And we could have a highway that runs off to Baku. Let's just plant it in there just now and we'll figure out what to do with it later on. But Melbourne doesn't get much. It's got 46 people waiting. What are the aircraft? They are DC-3s. <coughs> Four of managed vehicles. Let's get them upgraded to something uh, small. Cargo types all seven, seven. Let's just replace them with that. That gets 12 away. So that's good. We'll figure out what to do with this. Now main connection going to be destroyed. That's okay. Plenty of room for a second runway if we need it. And we could have some sort of highway heading out down there. There we go. Make it curved, please. Yep, yeah, curved is nice. Right. Away that goes. Now Melbourne is doing a okay. This one will pick up whoops, this one will pick up 12. We're looking for new routes though, so perhaps I'm thinking a route from Sydney to Osaka. Now, what do you currently have? You've got goods coming in. This plane here is trying to destroy that plane. Weirdly, 32, that's fine. Uh, yep, let's configure the airport. Now, as soon as the 1980s roll around, we will be getting new uh, landing runway. Separate landing takeoff. Runway. This one looks like it'll be for LAN. Uh, now, nah, I'll probably move it. Make this the landing one. No. Landing one's going to have to be here. Takeoff one's going to have to be over the back here. Right. Got it. That is A okay. Right. So let's get a new route. Now we've got plenty of planes to choose from. A uh, new line. Let's go from here, Sydney East, all the way over to Shanghai. That'll be a good route. You go on to Shanghai. Right, so. Sid. Shang. Whoops. Chung. Oh no, keep, uh, there we go, AP. Right, pause the game. I think we'll get some 737s rolling out here. I mean, I can't actually configure this to get a couple more. Let's do that. Right, if we've got excess fuel here, I could maybe ship it out somewhere else, but I'd rather put the cargo airport in there. I mean, it looks all good here. We're looking all good there. We may upgrade some of these trains for diesels. And I should hopefully be able to get second runway in there at some point. So, buy vehicles. Right, let's go large. We've got a few large. The Comet could be nice for this, so let's add one of those. Set its maintenance for high and set it on Sydney Shanghai Air Passenger. Right, away it goes. Now I'm thinking other route by vehicles, one of these by Set it for running cost high and set it on Sydney Shanghai AP. Right, away it goes. Now most cities do have air routes. Don't know if Kawasaki has an air route. Kawasaki St. Petersburg. It's just a small one. And it looks like if we want to do another airport here, 
it's gonna have to possibly be out in the ocean. Also, yep, there's nowhere near enough room there, but I'm thinking perhaps Kawasaki to where? We're already going to St. Petersburg, we've got Tokyo, Omsk, I mean Omsk has Baghdad route, it also has Seoul route, which is just going over there. Budapest has that route. Whoops. Tokyo has Tokyo Shanghai. I think we did add a route for Osaka, didn't we? Warsaw, Warsaw, Osaka. Right, so probably better to get a large plane in here since we've got buses heading out there. Don't know exactly where we would launch it from. Maybe Kiev. Kiev has one route. Right, let's give it another one. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, perfect. Now, not many people use those. There's a comet taken off with eight of twenty-one. Now, Kiev is sort of limited in where it can actually grow, unfortunately. Because it can't grow out this way. It can grow down here or down here if it wants. Possibly out this way it looks like it is. Which is nice as well. That's got 21 of 150. I'm thinking about changing that. To what I'm not entirely sure. 130. You take 175. That's good. But yes, let's get another route. So, let's go. Hello. New line. From there. To Osaka. Now, this is just a total madness mess happening here but there we go right so this will be Kiev Osa AP <coughs> sweet right it's now rolling it's not now rolling actually we don't have anything flying in there currently at the moment so let's get something so, by vehicles, let's go large. We've still got the Lockheed Super Constellation. We've got the 737-100. I'm going to use these by... Apply. Set it on... Kiev Osa AP. Let's push pause before this plane leaves the hangar. Now we do have another passenger route. Nothing happening there yet. That's probably just taking a total age for the bus. Now zero of twenty-one. No one wants to use that as of yet. Well, that's okay. Eleven of twelve machines coming back. I suppose that's okay as well, but I don't know. Yeah, some stuff over here must accept machines. Yep, they do. Okay. All right, that Luke Lock, uh, that Lockheed Super Constellation will be leaving, so let's get the other one rolling. Auto save. Hello. Set your maintenance for high. And set you on Kiev Osa AP. Right. I'm thinking about getting something small and flying it out to Kyoto. Right. Good, good, uh, good decision there. Right. One. Now there's nothing in Kyoto at the minute. It's just a small airport. <coughs> but this will be Osa. Cute. 
to south. All right, A, P. Et voila. There we go. And we'll get a route set up for this. This is actually growing. Don't know how it's, it's growing, but it is. And I might extend this out here to get a train in here. Now, was this in range of anything? No, not really. So we'll have to send... Set up a route for that. Buy vehicles. Train 45 is very poor. Feel better, Train 45. Right. Buy vehicles. What do we want for this? I'm tempted to go with this again. I mean, we have the Junkers till 1982. It's got capacity for 10 cargo but we've got jets and things going so let's do this add one of those apply Osa Kyoto AP right that sure probably be arriving shortly there are other planes that come on the go later Budapest East there's our little Pan Am number let's get over to Osaka hello now, we can't miss it. It's the one with the big airport in the middle of the ocean. Buy vehicles. One of... Small. One of these, please. Buy. Uh, where are we? Osa Kyoto AP. Right, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this takes passengers. I mean, hold the fort. Does that look like seats in there? Yeah, there's seats in there. It says it's both for passenger and... Now, if the Hercules took passengers, that would be super cool. Don't know if it does, though. Beijing, Minsk, Beijing, AP. Are we still running Junkers on there? Who, who are you? Shanghai, Beijing, air passenger. Ah, let's leave that Junkers on the go, actually. Ooh, we're running DC-4s on here, and they carry 15, so that's actually better. <coughs> I thought these actually ran for a while. Turns out I'm mistaken. Who are you and what do you do? Oh, Riga Steel. Orange cargo version of the Lockheed Constellation there. There's a plane. Ah, oh, that was weird. I wanted this plane. Aircraft. That's the Canada Air. Ah, the BR Aerospace QT. And the TRA E200 locomotive and some new buses. Sweet. Right. Looks like everywhere is sort of getting a passenger route. I want to go to Shanghai and find that. Who are you? Right. Shanghai Seoul. There's a Junkers. Looks like it's performing a Mr. Proach. Right, you're there. One, one person on board. I would like to watch this take off because it's the other side of the map. I want to see how fast it goes. Now, I think our top speed, according to... Uh, where is finance? Uh, account, headquarters, road vehicles, ships, trains. Top speed is 483 miles per hour 450 so something on the map is faster than this what is faster than this don't know but let's see if it gets up to 450 is it potentially there's the BR aerospace 20 that's good. I think it can. It's small as well, so it can land a small airfield. And this car is 20. Perfect. 
Yeah, go to large. Is it the 737 that's got 483? Yep, yeah, so. It's actually, the 737 is actually faster than our Comet here. Now let's see how, let's see if it can reach its top speed heading to the other side. Sydney to Shanghai. Now that we've got those two new planes though, I think we'll use them. Now we've got a lot of those Sherpa caravan things on the go. We'll replace some of them. We'll keep one or two rolling. So you're at 118, you're leveling off. You need to fly for quite some distance. There we go, starting to pick up speed. Perfect. Now I know exactly which routes I want to throw some of the BR Aerospace aircraft on. Probably some of our busier routes. There's a 737. This is very congested airspace. I'm surprised there's not a few more mid-air collisions on the go. There's a lot of circling aircraft back there. This thing, that thing. <laughs> Lots and lots of planes, right? It got up to I don't know how fast because I stopped looking at it. Now it's slowing down. You idiot! <laughs> what is this? Hello, buddy. Hey, we're DC four, right? Continue on DC four. Right. Ooh, we've got an issue. Ooh, train 19, train something reporting problems. Right, how has that happened? That's never happened before. That should not be a thing that happens. Real. Pop you over there and see if you will partake. Oh, no. What is... You're too long for the station. One would imagine. Right, we'll have to spin you round, buddy. Just for a moment. You head back that way. Let that train out. Double slip switch. Yes. But we're going to have to put in a diamond. Now, it's not moving because there are... Signals here. Oh, come on. Katana Renu. Yep. Oh, now it's changed track. Super duper amazing. Uh, right, get a signal in there. Tell this gentleman he can now about turn. And we'll also tell you, manage line, to wait for at Kiev North, or Warsaw even. Get a full load. Right, these two... Are heading out. Wonder, I wonder how long that's been stopped for. Minsk, Kiev, air passenger, nothing. Although the plane is there, 15 to 21. It's still making profit, even though it's not full. But yeah, let's try and get the BR Aerospace on the go, and then we'll try and get something new. Right, you, buddy. Zero of seven, that's okay. No one wants to use air traffic here, that's okay. Right, tool 76, manage vehicles. Now, got a few on here. Uh, small, so you take 12 and two compartments. You take 20 over two compartments. Let's replace them. There's one landed just there. Perfect timing. Right, it's in sort of like TNT colors. Which is kind of cool. VHSFV. Continue on, my friend. You will now take 20 of our finest tools. There's another one coming in for landing. Sweet. 
Now this airport is not that congested, it is just the airport at Riga that is congested. Just short little flights for these guys, so that's okay. Right, we're into nine. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, we're into 1978. Let's actually look at air vehicles. Right, got some DC-4s, they're pretty ancient. We've got some Junkers. They're pretty old. Tokyo, Shanghai, 48 of 48. But there is one that does or needs better. Is it Moscow, Sydney? Right, where are you? Right, 54, yeah. Right, hold the bus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's upgrade them. Manage vehicles. Select. Replace with that. It can now take 20. Push play. And away we go. Right, that doesn't actually work now. No point having that. It took 13 for some weird reason and left a few people hanging. As they so often do. Now the Baghdad flight should also, I should probably also upgrade that as well. Baghdad to wherever. No, Baghdad to Ho Chi Minh is okay. Wow, that's extremely dangerous. <laughs> right, 11, no, we're good. Right, so we've got some BR aerospaces on the go. Most places have now got a flight into them. Melbourne, 43, I think I changed them. Yeah, let's get them changed up as well. Manage vehicles, select all, replace with that replace. Awesome. Another one landing. Alright, that is better. It's better for them. Uh, Baku doesn't have a flight. We'll get it a flight though at some point. Right now we're gonna set up this monster. There's five people and it only covers like these couple of houses so <laughs> that's good. People look as though they want to use this route I mean, it is the only one heading into Kyoto currently. We'll keep these on the go for the moment. Uh, and let's set up a bus route. Now, train station as well. I don't know where I want the train station to go. If possible, tracks, buildings. Give me that. Now where can you actually go? Baku, probably in Melbourne, St. Petersburg, Budapest, and we want a high speed one that goes to Tokyo. So say one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it <coughs> make it a six. Three twenty, if it fit three twenty fits in here, I'll go for it. I mean, I am quite happy to delete stuff over here. Now, delete that, delete that. Rail. Pop you in there. High speed catenary? No, because not every one of them is going to be. Now the thing is, I'm going to want to try and tunnel this underneath. Right, autosave is an effect, that's why we're not getting our tunnel effect. Right, place that there. It is slightly underground. That was the intended. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted it underground. Uh, 
Right, road, street, please. Okay, right, it doesn't like being that close. To that. Do that then. Now you should have no issue at all. The only issue is that I'm building this too close. There we go. Right, we're getting weird collision things happening here. What are we colliding with? There's a tiny bit of water. Right there. Okay, let's, let's move that. Okay, now it should just pop right up to there. Perfect. Now we'll have it pop out. This way people can build out there if they want. Uh, pop out there. Smooth this. Whoops, that's not smoothing. Okay, so we've got weird beach setup thing here. Right, smooth that, smooth that. There's water there, that was the issue. This water keeps returning, and it's frustrating. Do I want this weird little lake thing here? Not particularly. Get rid of that as well. And all this, right. You go away. Alright, now try smoothing, but make the brush strength. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why? There's like floating, <laughs> floating water. Make brush strength high. What is happening here? Hello, transport fever devs. Why are we getting water down here? This should not be a thing that happens. Right, get rid of all the water. Okay, let's attempt that again, but without the retardedness. This is not the same height. Right, it will do though. Now, I've got the feeling that when I go to smooth this, it's just going to give me that water effect again. Yep, it sure did. Ah, wait. That's because I screwed it up. Right, don't screw it up. Yep, water effect has returned. Right, that is, that is really weird. I'll just keep it flat and hope someone builds over there. Yeah, that's 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 that's, uh, that's a new one. Right, so we'll have one track heading over here, two tracks heading over here, third track heading over there, one track heading over there, two, three. Right. So I need. Possibly. Now we've got some water issues here as well. Let's just eliminate said water issue. On tracks. Right. Let's just go. Now I want you to go under. Hello. Give me that. Seven buildings will be removed. Okay. Now the ocean is going to present an issue here. Now the ocean presents no issue. It's 
So all that, and we still destroyed a few buildings. Whoops. Have that come out there. That come out there. Now we're not going to do anything with Kyoto today. I'm just setting this up for the future. Alright, that's super close to that road. Can still get it in though. Ugh, knew it. Right. That's going to have to go. Not too worried about that, though. Pull that out of there. Right, those trucks are now ready. Uh, road Just give me that to there one building will be removed that's fine right if anyone falls off here they're pretty much toast pretty much right see if I can get something to pop through there as well yeah that's nice right so Kyoto is almost set up I mean I probably should at least delete that because these trucks are going to have to come through here at some point as well I mean if I pull that now you go down where do you start to tunnel you don't you don't like tunneling in the slightest Okay, now you want to tunnel. Alright, where do you pop out? I mean, I would love that to just like... Go flat along there and then pull it until it reaches there. Cost 925 kajillion billion dollars. That's okay though. I mean, we don't actually, I'm not doing anything with this just now I'm just sort of setting it up now Budapest line can head round that way I mean we're basically building the line that wasn't the point the whole point of coming to Kyoto was to get a commuter route set up but then I just wanted to make sure I could get these lines in first and I'm pretty sure we will we'll be okay We've got some of them in. Weird bridge thing happening there. Don't know why that's a thing. Uh, train tracks, please and thank you. One there. Okay, let's go with that. And see if it refrains from doing anything stupid. I mean, we could keep it single tracked. Until we get into the tunnel. And then we can maybe split it off here. That keeps it nice and clean. We can do that with the other trains as well. Right. So train station is in Kyoto. Freight is going to have to arrive by plane or ship. One would imagine Kyoto has just been decimated. 
A uh, fairly large chunk of it has been destroyed, but we're here for commuter route. So, let's get commuter route rocking and rolling. First of all, we want a bus stop. Right across from the train station. Et voila. Bit weird, the fact that it's sunk into the ground, but hey ho. Let's get one bus stop there. One bus stop here. One there. One over here. One there. Go up to there and come back around to there. I thought they were buses, but there are there are mini vans. Right, so build a depot. That will be the next step. Then we'll create the line. I'd love it to go here near the ocean. Oceanside Depot. There we go, Oceanside Depot, there we go. So, any high seas will demolish that. Right, new line. So, I want to go here first. There, 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 there. There, there, and there. Lots of bus stops. And this will be Q-Commuter. Right, Kyoto commuter stops by the train station, stops everywhere, which is nice by road vehicles. Right, we've got a few new road vehicles. We've got the Mans, we've got the Lias, we've got this. One of them seems to be missing. One of them definitely. Now, 43, that's fine, 63. 43, 37, 50, 37, 50, capacity of 21, 19, I've got a plan, right, so, buy one, buy one, buy one, buy one, buy one, set all for high maintenance, apply and set them on the QO bus route. So, K is their Kyoto commuter, right. We'll have an army of strange buses here now. Bendy bus appears first. Good man, Bendy bus. Man bus on Kyoto commuter. That also has Kyoto commuter written on it. There, Kyoto commuter. They turn rather weirdly. Yes, there was a red one with an arrow. I think it's been, it must have, it's lifespan must have run out and then it's gone somewhere else. These guys should split up, hopefully. I mean, you're heading for Shibayu Crossing, Kyoto Exchange, <gasps> Takashita Street. Right, they are splitting up. Mosaic Street, and you are heading down to Peshawar Road. Good, good, right. We should start to see an influx of passengers up here at Q. Oh, we'll keep the caravan on the go. Now, Omsk, yep, you've got a few people in there. Tokyo doesn't have a main flight yet, but we'll get it one soon. Uh, yep, you, Osaka, to Kyoto. No, but people are using this. I mean, no sign of any of the buses yet. There are four. They could be in there. Trapped in the collapsed tunnel. Perhaps. Maybe. Do we see a bus? We do. Right, this is the bus we had previously. See, it's got the red arrow. Uh, autosave. I didn't realise autosave paused the game. Or maybe because it's because uh, I've got so much crap to actually save. Right, nine of fourteen. Not entirely sure where the hell you're going. 
but continue on, sir. Alright, it's going into the tunnel. Let's jump on board with this bus, actually. I don't often jump on board with Eagles, lots of planes. It's like the Battle of Britain up there. Was the top speed of this thing 31 miles per hour? I'm sure it was like 63 or something. Or is it something dumb like the speed in this tunnel is 31 or something? That would seem strange considering it's 50 mile per hour. Ah, right, this is still street. Yes, this is still street up until it crosses over to this and then it speeds up. 28, 29, 31, 32. There we go. And then it goes over the ocean. Tight corner there. Away it goes down. I've never actually seen them go round the roundabout either. So there's nine people on board. If all of them get off here, it means they're going on a plane or planes. Because there are now two flights in Osaka. There's the hangar entrance, but here is the terminal entrance. There is a plane there on the left. Large plane, not sure what it is. Ah, it's a Junkers. It looks huge from down here. No one waiting there. Ah, uh, 75. Oh, one person actually got on, and three ladies got off to fly somewhere else. Good for them. Right, round the roundabout it goes. Now, one of the things I wanted to do, I mentioned in the last episode, was get a ship that goes from Tokyo through here to there. Now, I did see that they changed up. There's still 161 people for that hovercraft. Which is a lot. There's the hovercraft there. I think we might have to duplicate the hovercraft once more. Let's get four of them on the go. Maintenance is high. Because they zip along here pretty quickly. 58 is fast for a boat. No doubt. I mean, could get harbour here at Minsk. Now, Minsk has a run to Beijing, and 103 people are waiting for it. Using the DC-4, which is fine. This Junkers could probably stand to be upgraded. It's pretty old now, and it only carries 10. Do I want to upgrade it? Possibly. Hmm, right, but the thing is, here, when we go to configure, I've always had issues with, I mean, let's make a large dock and hope that it will, see that was almost good, almost. Now the problem is, it seems like half of it I mean, it goes on the middle there, but that's not really what we want. Now, we could add this. And we could add another one. Now, go to the edge. There we go. There. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Cargo. Passenger landing. Right there. 
Okay, okay. This is slightly larger now, which is okay. Don't know where my new hovercrafts are coming from. That looks like they came from over here. Yep. Collision! <laughs> now there's two heading over there, there's a third one there. You're empty as well. Let's turn you around. Let's also turn you around, but let you head on to over here. Now, the ship I wanted to get on here, I mean, this will be interesting. Ah, oh, cool. What's Farb? Oh, they've got different liveries. Seagulls. Seagulls fly around them. How huge is this thing? Yeah, it's pretty huge. Soldier Lane. Do like the Explorer as well. I want a moving, moving version of this. I mean, Terminals 4, what does that look like? Okay, I've got you. Terminals 2. Ah, okay, right, we've got collision happening, that's okay. I mean, the thing is, would anybody actually use this? Now, the answer to that is probably going to be no. Why would anybody use it? Docks outside of navigable waters. That just simply ain't true. Right, let's fire it in and see what we can, see what we can, we can do here. Right, do that to there. Don't know why we're using street for this, but hey ho, let's pop that up to there. Now let's pop you down to there and upgrade that. And then let's get you to swing round. Pop that out of there, to there, and round to there. Then we'll get a couple more buses. To head round, right. Buildings. Bus stop? Yes. Go there. Interesting thing happening there. Train 52 and train 59. Now you, I, you guys do sometimes have issues. Alright, push pause because I need these guys to roll. So you're stuck waiting for him. You should have stopped back there. You did not. Let's get rid of that signal. Let's turn you the other way. Push play. Now let's pull up the line. Yep, it should be coming down that way. But it needs to stop at this signal. Right, this one can now go... Right, once this one is passed, we shall about turn it. Now, this one should be at red. It is. He can now cruise through, and we are good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Now, where is machine train for Warsaw? You're there. You're doing sort of okay. 306 details, maintenance very high, capacity, top speed is 50. I'm thinking about upgrading this. Or do I want to upgrade this? Yes, I think I do. 
But we'll do that in the next episode because I want to get this this weird thing that I've done over here <laughs> sort of on the go. Right, now, Tokyo has a commuter line and a tram line. I do believe it now also has a airport Tokyo ASP. There was a few man trucks on there. We are going to need something else. Now, do I want to send the tram over there? Not particularly. Commuter. Right, the commuter doesn't do very much of anything, really. So, manage line. Now, I loved before when you used to click on this and it would tell you where all the stops were. Now it does not. Perfect. Right, bring up this then. 15th Street. Pretty sure it goes to there. Yen Chow Street, Shibayu Crossing, 17th Street. Right, so Tokyo Commuter just goes around this little loop. Yes, it does. Okay. So you go to 15th Street. Then you, so I want you to go down there now. So manage line. Lower Tokyo, one, right, three. Okay, this is going to be off the beaten path a little while. <laughs> then go back there and go to 15th Street. Then go down. The rest of the buses can carry on as normal. Right, so they're heading down there. Nothing happening yet. Let's get a new line. Let's select you. Select you on platform two. That's excellent. Uh, train two is in poor condition. Feel better, train two. And let's get a, a shipyard or ship docks. Shipyard, yep, right. Think you in there. That's nice. Right, buy vehicles. One. Two. Select line maintenance, high, apply, and get you on line one. We have pushed play. This may crash the game. Uh, should have thought of that first, but oh well. So this is Tokyo to Beijing passenger ferry should have just have made that small on something like PF right they're stuck in the depot awesome nope it's because hello killer whale friends Ooh, that's creepy. It's like their eyes, or the white bit where their eyes is, have been gouged out. Whoa! <laughs> creepy. Oh, well. That's that. Right, so one is heading out. These move, I think, but I think the move once it clears the depot. Sail ships. Now, obviously, the sails don't move. That would be asking just a bit too much. They are beautiful mods. Now we've got floating, uh, right, hold, hold the fort, hold on, ah, right, buy vehicles, right, prop alternative, 
Is there some way to switch the killer wheels off? There is a version that doesn't have it. Maybe not. Maybe they do move but later. Once they've been into the dock. I mean the animation for the killer wheels is super cool. But we don't particularly need it. Right, you're heading to Beijing Central. This one is heading in now. I mean, I could get a passenger route that heads out here and goes to Minsk. That could be something. Right, you, you hit the open sea and see what happens. See what you can see on the open sea. I mean, the color wheels definitely moved in Transport Fever 1. I'm telling you, I know it, I know they did. I've seen it with my own eyes. This ship is super duper shiny. That's had some, that's been well polished. Maybe once it gets over a certain speed. I mean, the seagulls move, and that's super duper high for a killer wheel. To be jumping out of the water, I mean, this would be 10, 15 feet up, I would imagine. Okay, so the killer wheels don't move, but apart from that, they're they're pretty cool. Right, a new vehicle's available, another version of the Dr. Yellow thing. Right, you are still trying to dock. This takes a hundred people, Jesus. That's a lot. Okay, so the killer whales don't move, that's okay. Details, is there some way... Manage vehicles, does it come with like... No, so we only get the killer whale version. And the killer whales don't work. That's okay. Take off, take flight, right, you stop. You need to wait for that one to arrive at the other side. Right, so we've got some planes on the go. We've got our super duper, now that was gonna be my thumbnail, this ship. But with the floating killer wheels, it's, it's a bit strange. Are they moving in this one yet? No. I mean, we could have it just like, ship coming through Color wheels are still going to be on the way. What about a back? Backside. Version. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, if we catch it just there, boom. It looks like that killer wheel is jumping sort of out of the water. <laughs> I'll do, I'll be fine. Thumbnail done. <laughs> but, anywho, hey, there's a few people waiting here now. Tokyo Shang, you're using this thing. You should maybe have a be better. Better? You should have a better aircraft. One thinks. There's a lot of coal here now. There we go, bus arrived. I'd be very surprised if anyone wanted to use this. But we'll get this one rolling in just a minute. This one's obviously going to take a, a while. 11 miles per hour top speed, that's, that's pretty slow. But it's cool, I like it. But yes, we've got some new aircraft. There we go, there was not one of the new aircraft. That's aircraft number one. The oldest plane we have. Definitely, because the rest of them have either been upgraded. There are a few Junkers kicking around. But yeah, these things are cool. And the scenery is starting to look slightly... Look, we've got a sail ship. We've got the Osaka Island Airport. 
We've now got one year to go and we get double runways. By half, however, see. Seed. One of our shiny new aero B British Aerospace aircraft. There it goes. In random colours that I'm not quite sure of. Right, but we're gonna leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2, and I will catch you later.